Hi, and welcome to the Click by Composure tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on the mirror effect. We are going to be using our prop called the Vault today for this, this effect, and I'm going to show you the end result here. It looks like I've gotten myself into a kind of a precarious situation. But this is the new Vault, and it's built with a mirror built into it. And uh, all the poses are going to be reversed. So it's a matter of taking two pictures and doing the method I'm about to show you. So that's what the end result's going to kind of look like. So let me show you our two pictures. So this is our first picture, and that's our second picture. And I've just brought it into Adobe Photoshop uh, CS4. You can do this on any, uh, any of them. It's the same process, it's just this is what I'm using. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the first picture. We're going to select all of it, and you see the little ants going all the way around it. We're going to edit, copy it. Now that puts it onto our uh, clipboard. So now we're going to go and File, New. That brings up the size of our clipboard, which in this case is 1024 by 774. Hit OK. Then we're going to Edit, Paste, and that pastes that picture there. Then we're going to go to the second photo and do the same process. So select All, Edit, Copy, go to our picture, and then we're going to Edit, Paste. So now what we have is two layers. We have layer, this is layer one, and that's layer two. So that's that's the basics of what's going to happen here. So we're going to, actually we're going to reverse these layers just so we have this one on top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to opaque the top layer to 50%. So now we can see both, fit, both pictures through each other. So we have a clear line to cut. We're going to take the crop tool, crop off half of the picture, pretty much just making sure we don't hit any of the main image. Because both pictures are identical, it doesn't matter how jagged this, this line is. This line could be as jagged as you wanted it to be, and it would not matter. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. All right, so that's our, that's our line. We file, cut. We unopaque it. And presto, perfect mirror. Let's say you wanted to add a little shadow, so we could do you know we could do whatever we wanted to do at this point. We could post process it all we want. This is just a quick shadow a technique that I learned a while ago. It's just a motion blur blob at the bottom basically, and then we motion blur it the other way. I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but this is just the way I did it. We opaque it to 50 percent, and we shrink it down a little bit and turn it a little bit so it's under our avatar like so let me zoom in so we can see what we're doing take an eraser erase it a little bit make it look less oval more human get rid of it off the avatar's feet there you go and you can post process it from here you know you can do whatever you wanted to do um, shrink it down to the right size to fit into Second Life, whatever you want to do, but that's the basic mirror technique. Appreciate you guys uh, following my tutorial, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them on the, uh, the YouTube. Thank you very much.